What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everyone that's tuning in. I want to talk about Blueface and Krishan Rock. Apparently, they had, I guess, broken up, and we don't really know. They could just be, you know, separated and right back together. This is this saga with Blueface and Krishan is all over social media. It's clear that Blueface doesn't really care about being a rapper anymore. I never, I don't think he ever did. I think he only cared about being famous. Same thing I've said about Meg Thee Stallion and Sweetie. You know, you got people who get into the industry either because they love it or they love the fame and money that comes with it. You know, you can love both, but I think that you know the ones that care and the ones that don't. Blueface is a guy that got a lot of benefits from being a rapper, and that's all he cares about is the benefits of the rap industry, but he doesn't care about putting in the work. And it's very clear. And I'm going to be very harsh with Blueface on this video because it's men like or males like Blueface that make it difficult for men who are in bad, toxic relationships where they're being beat on by their girlfriends or wives because he is fighting with a woman who clearly has psychological issues. This woman is psychologically damaged and he's taking advantage of this. And he thinks it's funny when they're fighting each other and she's beating on him. He thinks it's funny. None of that is funny. You make us men look bad. You look like a sucker. You really do. There's nothing funny about that. And you're you're dealing with a woman who you know has issues. Blueface is such a degenerate that when she fixed her gap, he made her, I guess she put some sort of, is it like a fake tooth or something there? I don't know what she did with it, but he wanted her to change it back to where it was. It's not because he loves her the way she is, because he wants her to be this dysfunctional monster that's going around here acting in the way that she does he's enabling this and you look weak there's nothing strong about this this is why i say what i say about you you males it, it nowadays a lot of you guys are weak you're lame you're not tough you're failures and you're relying on your woman to help you get reality tv deals because you don't care about being a rapper you just care about being an embarrassment and Let's be real, Blueface. She's not the only embarrassment. You are as well. Now, Blueface did humble her because she was forced to apologize. Krishan Rock was forced to apologize to him, as I have uh, right here. This is according to Hot New Hip Hop. Uh, we're gonna get into this, and I'm gonna and, and I'm gonna tell y'all why I'm being tough on Blueface is because you males gotta stop dealing with women like this when you don't have to. You think it's funny because you're because you have mommy issues and you think that this is normal and it isn't now apparently they had a split you know Blueface says some things that got her upset that and she had he he went on a twitter rant and she did as well so let's get into this uh hot new hip-hop article first the so Blueface has torn his girlfriend kashan rock in a new twitter rant that heard him refer to his baby mother as an ideal woman. On Tuesday, the Tatiana rapper hopped on Twitter to vent about Krishan and their rocky relationship that has been in the public eye ever since they made things official in 2020. Uh, let's go to the tweets. Food for thought. Rock didn't fight or attempt to fight anyone in her family. For me, her explanation, I don't agree with fight my family, but volunteer me to fight mine when put in the same uncomfortable position that's crazy work stand on your principles or be held accountable. First off, Blueface, why are you wanting to fight anybody in her family? They probably are upset with you and you should just deal with it like a man instead of just trying to get her involved. That's why I tell y'all, man, you know, you dudes that want you and your girl to be fighting everybody, y'all look crazy. It's no beef. My only point is don't volunteer me to do something you wouldn't volunteer yourself to do the truth can never be disrespected. I, I agree with that. I agree. I agree. If you're not willing to stand by me in a disagreement uh, with your family, but you expect to stand by me when me and my family is going at it, you know why, Blueface? It's because you're being manipulated, Blueface. You don't have control over Chris, uh, Krishan like you think you do. You She made you believe that you have control over the situation, but you don't because you dudes are way more behind women than you think you do. You know nothing about women. Because if you did, Blueface, you would keep that woman from putting her hands on you. If we pull up to a bank and you say, hey, you should go in there and rob it. So I robbed bank, the bank successfully. 
we pull up to the next bank and I say, I right, it's your turn. And you say, I'm against Robin. That's a red flag. I'm getting out the car. Okay. That's a interesting analogy. So I'm so glad I got one baby mama and she a good one. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, but you ain't with her, bro. You're not really with her. <laughs> you with, we with Krishan who has issues. This is what Krishan had to say. All this tweeting shit about a baby mom is just so weird. Stop trying to make me mad. Clearly the shit you say ain't really bothering me. It's just making you look vulnerable for the wrong reasons. Tweeting, but literally land right next to me. It's crazy. That's why I say, man, these two are, are, are just doing anything to get people talking about them. But bro, this ain't, it still ain't a good look. And you know, the, the crazy thing about Krishan is that despite everything she does with Blueface, she still has got caught dealing with other dudes. You see, I don't give, I don't care if you are a rapper and you claim that you have money like that and fame, and I ain't gonna stop these women from seeing other men. It's very clear to me that Krishan does what she wants to do, but she's not gonna let Blueface do what he wants to do. You know why Blueface? Because you ain't in control of that relationship. You really ain't. Now let's get to the apology. You see here, I believe she deleted it. Dear people, I'm sorry. Dear Blue, I'm sorry. I just need everyone to pray for me. I ran to social media this cause honestly, I appreciate my fans and love. And I love to be very transparent. Hopefully my darkness, someone's light. Uh, lately, I haven't been eating. I just been sleeping. I struggled with my depression and, uh, bad thoughts since a little girl only because i feel like earth always gave it to me tough i love god so much i want to be in heaven so bad and i hate myself because maybe i was better person life without make me uh, the way she writ written this is just insane make me feel like this i neglect my mom my family sometimes because i keep telling myself i could be a better once i'm better I could love them, but to be honest, it's a dark cloud over me. It's trying to consume me to get out of this darkness. I'm going last. I'm going to, I'm going to fast, pray harder, and I'll be back somewhere to myself. Be somewhat to myself. Uh, okay. I'm not reading all this. Um, uh, it's there. And then blue face, I guess responded by saying first step to fixing a problem is admitting you have one and reflecting on wrong decisions this is dope and the best thing no victim role here this accountability proud father because that's how blueface sees her blueface sees her as someone that you know he's like a father figure to you know he he's you know it's somebody that needs him but i want blueface to understand you're not in control of this heifer you're really not you know she has got you fooled bro she really does. And again, what real man, I'm going to go there, wants to deal with a woman who's beating up on him? I mean, you dudes, you Gen Z dudes, some, even some of you millennial guys, y'all look crazy out here dealing with these dysfunctional women who clearly have psychological issues because you think it's funny, but you don't know how bad it makes the collective of men look. You're out here looking like comedy. You're out here. Your self-esteem is somewhere else because it ain't with you. You notice how other guys don't have to deal with this. They don't have to deal with women beating on them. But you deal with it, blue face, because you got mommy issues. And it's very clear that you got mommy issues. The way that you act towards your mother and your sister, you can tell. None of this is funny. And if you're doing this for a check, you're not getting a big enough check for you to have to go through all this embarrassment. A lot of you males who think that you know men beating on women is uh, uh, men, uh, women beating on men is funny or you know are the same guys that you know at some point when it happens to you or you get put in a situation where you're blamed for putting your hands on somebody you'll say well it happens to men too well you can't just say that once you know uh you're caught up in a situation and you may go to jail over it a lot of you guys like like blue face is the type of guy that is his own worst enemy he's a lazy rapper who only cares about the benefits of being a rapper. And that's why you have this mentally unstable heifer here who clearly should not be near any man until she works on those issues. 
Like, if you look at the way Krishan looked and was before she got with Blueface, and you look at her now, it's almost like she's being enabled to be her worst self. And when you are your worst self, you have to figure out why. You know, you are your worst self because your self-esteem is wrapped up in the guy that you're dating. So let me think in the comment section, let me know your thoughts. Like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll see y'all next one.